When we send personnel overseas, and if you take Operation Iraqi Freedom in the early stages as an example, in the earliest months of that conflict, rates of disease were as high as 40 to 45 personnel ill per hundred per month. The Naval Medical Research Center is the hub for naval medical research. Our mission is, uh, is focused on preserving the health of our warfighters. We have labs overseas in, in third world countries where our, our troops are, are fighting, looking for what are the diseases that are of military interest. Some of the diseases that we focus on within the Department of Defense and within our own command are important for the soldier, for the sailor, uh, for the service member in general that's deploying, and they're also very important diseases for young children in developing countries. It cost hundreds of millions of dollars to develop a, a drug or a vaccine from the discovery phase to getting FDA approval after doing a phase three clinical trial. Developing a vaccine probably spans uh, 15 to 20 years. We take on the very early stage exploratory level research, which is very expensive. Our strengths are very much at the early end of the spectrum of the development process in understanding disease, in basic discovery. We take on that heavy burden to ensure that some solution could be brought forward to ultimately commercialize for a warfighter. A license agreement is really a mechanism for allowing a party to use our protected material. Most of this technology that we develop in-house for the warfighter would never see the light of day unless we had uh, patent protections on our, on our technology that we can license to a commercial entity. The licensing process is a, is a critical one for our research and development efforts. Inventions are disclosed and patents are filed and we basically create intellectual property. Uh, that imparts value to those inventions and subsequent patents. A CRADA, a Cooperative Research and Development Agreement, is a, uh, a legal agreement it allows us to collaborate with a non-federal entity. Given the complexity of, uh, of developing a vaccine, we basically need all the help we can get. That drives us to seek outside partners that can bring other expertise, other disciplines to bear on the process. We can provide them access to our facilities, our field labs uh, overseas, our in-house clinical testing uh, capabilities. That helps cut down their cost and, and, and expedites the development so that we can get that product uh, for our needs, which is to help the warfighter. The mission of the Office of Technology Transfer is to try to expedite the whole research and development process by coupling uh, expertise from the outside, the non-federal uh, entities, with our in-house investigators to uh, just accelerate the, the whole development process. Technology from outside is transferred in to support us and sometimes our technology can be trans transferred out. To collaborate, to share ideas, to build on what they have. The Office of Legal and Technology Services meets weekly. Our business and legal teams come together. We're usually shooting out other possible uses for technology. We review the agreements, we patent the technologies, and we market as much as we can of the technologies that we have available. Our mission is to make sure we have something useful for the warfighter. On the business end, usually they are interested in something that's useful as broad a market as they can find um, and so that ends up being a very interesting uh, complementary relationship. Technology transfer brings together business and legal tools that link research to a final solution. The thing that gets me up every morning 
and brings me to the Naval Medical Research Center, gets me on planes to travel overseas working with partners or visiting our laboratories, is the hope that someday we can make a difference, that something that we do has an application and improves health of the service member and of other populations. When you're watching uh, TV and a commercial comes on and they're advertising a product that the Navy developed and you knew that you were involved, this is very satisfying. What I'm doing is helping to change the world.